Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x plus 4 equals 4 to the power x plus 3. And we're going to be looking for x values. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Since these two things are equal, their natural logs are also equal, which is ln. And then by using properties of logarithms, I'm going to go ahead and move the exponents, bring them down. Then it's going to look like this. Now ln3 and ln4 are constants, and I want to solve for x. So let's go ahead and distribute, and then put the x terms together, because we're trying to solve for x. So here we get x ln3 plus 4 ln3 equals x ln4 plus 3 ln4. Now, it doesn't matter which side you choose, but since ln4 is greater than ln3, I want to put the stuff on the you know, uh, positive side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract this from both sides. And that's going to give me x ln4 minus x ln3. And I'm just going to bring this one over here. And that's going to be subtracted from 4 ln3. So it's going to be 4 ln3 minus 3 ln4. Okay, so we put the x terms together and the constants together. So now we can go ahead and factor out x. And then from here we should be able to get the answer, right? So all we have to do is divide both sides by ln4 minus ln3, which is obviously not 0 in this case, right? So if you divide both sides by that, you get the answer and that will be the solution and the only solution because this is a linear equation and it only has one solution all right so basically what we did was take the natural log of both sides and then bring the exponents down now we do that that technique is usually used when there's a variable in the exponent if we didn't have a variable, then we wouldn't have to do it. So now we got the answer. Let's go out and hold on to that. And let's do the second method. And now we'll compare our answers. For my second method, I'm going to do obviously something different, right? Slightly different, maybe very much different. So we have 3 to the power x plus 4 equals 4 to the power x plus 3. So for my second method, I don't want to use natural log, at least for now, or any other log. I want to put the terms that has x in them together. And I'm able to do that nicely because the exponents are actually going to be eventually the same. So you'll see it when I break it down. So let's go ahead and write the 3 to the power x plus 4 as 3 to the power x times 3 to the power 4. And the other one as 4 to the power x times 4 to the power 3. Make sense? Now we're going to go ahead and do the following. We're going to bring the 4 to the power x on the left hand side. So we're going to divide both sides by that. And then we're also going to be dividing by 3 to the 4th. In other words, we're dividing both sides by 4 to the x times 3 to the 4th, 4 to the x times 3 to the 4th. Why? Because this way we can bring the x terms together. So these two are going to cancel out and these two are going to cancel out. And we end up with the following. 3 to the power x divided by 4 to the power x equals 4 to the power 3 divided by 3 to the power 4. By the way, you can write this as 64 over 81 if you want. Doesn't matter. Either way is fine. If you leave it at exponents, that's fine too. So we got something like this, but how do you solve for it? Right? We still have something that's a quotient of two exponentials. Okay, now... 
Properties of exponents comes to the rescue. So when you have something like a to the n divided by b to the n, and remember we talked about this many times before, this can be written as a over b to the power n. So in other words, if you are dividing two powers with the same exponent, then you can divide the bases and use the same exponent. All right, that's the property we're going to use here. So this can turn into 3 over 4 to the power x equals 64 over 81. And again, at this point, you're going to log both sides, but there's a lot of different ways to do it. Either uh, you can use the definition of logarithms because logarithms are basically used to find the unknown exponent. So when you have an equation like 2 to the power x equals 5, you don't know x immediately. It's irrational. It's transcendental, whatever. Uh, it's not an integer, right, or a rational number. So we use logs uh, for these kinds of things. And it would make sense to use base 3 fourths or any other base. But since we're going to compare our answer to ln, let's do both. How about this? Let's log both sides with base 3 fourths first. And I'm going to put this number in parentheses so it looks nicer. Now x moved to the front, log 3 fourths. Uh, log base 3 fourths of 3 fourths is going to be 1. So this gives us x equals log base 3 fourths of 64 over 81. Now let's go ahead and do this with the ln, the natural log, and then we're going to compare our answers to the first method. So picking up from here, 3 fourths to the power x equals 64 over 81. And then I'm going to ln both sides. Okay, so when you ln or take the natural log on both sides, then the x, you're going to bring it down again. But this time, this is not going to be 1. It's just going to be a natural log of some number. So it's going to be like x times ln 3 fourths equals ln 64 over 81. And then we can divide both sides by the natural log of 3 fourths, right? And that's going to give us the answer in another form. Now, you can compare these two answers. And obviously, there's a way to transition between these two methods. Because if you use the change of base formula, change of base is a very important formula for logarithms. So something like, let's say we have log base b of a. We can kind of write it as ln a over ln b. And by the way, ln can be replaced with log or any other logarithm. And if you look at the first method, uh, the result that we got is fairly simplified for ln 3 minus 3 ln 4, so on and so forth. And how could we arrive at that result? First of all, we can use the properties of uh, logarithms. The quotient rule allows us to write it as ln 64 minus ln 81 and the bottom is ln 3 minus ln 4. And then you can just write this as 4 cubed and 3 to the fourth power, and you're going to arrive at the first method's answer. But guess what? The, the only problem is going to be switching these around because we wrote the larger number first. So this is, this is kind of like a negative divided by negative. The other one is positive divided by positive. But they are the same. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.